Hi everybody, welcome back to Art with Mrs. McCree. I have a fun assignment for you today. So I wanted to share with you um, color and mood in this um, next link down in the Art Google Classroom. You'll see there's a link to a slideshow, but I'm gonna just present it to you so you have a chance to kind of look through with me as well. Um, so here we go. So color and mood, as you can see, this is the color wheel. And we've used the color wheel in the past um, to group the colors into warm and cool, if you remember that assignment. But now this time, artists use color for mood as well. So telling us a feeling about the picture that they're making. So what are the moods for different colors in this color wheel? And here you can see yellow shows happiness, intellect, joy, energy, and cheer. And you may feel that yellow might be another kind of mood for yourself and you can go ahead and choose a different mood for this color and for any color in the color wheel. Oops. Um, Pablo Picasso, and these are famous artists of the past, Pablo Picasso's Blue Period versus Henry Matisse's Red Harmony. Now, how does the mood feel by using these colors? As you can see, Pablo Picasso both uh, and Henry Matisse have both the figure looking down. But painting this painting blue on this side and this painting is red, what are the kind of feelings that you get um, from both of these paintings? Um, you can discuss that with your parent as you look at both these paintings together. Artists show mood of a character through color and expression. And here we're gonna talk about an illustrator. An illustrator is a person who draws or creates pictures for books, magazines, and advertising. So how did the illustrator Todd Parr use color to match a mood in his book, The Feelings Book? And as you can see here on the front cover of the book is here's this very blue sad face and then this very upset face and you can see the colors have changed, right? And as, as well as the expression. You can click on this picture and hear the book read to you. And it's a YouTube video and it's a reading corner. So when you click on it, if you're in the Google Classroom, you may have trouble getting to this YouTube. So have your parents take you to that site. Um, now, your art assignment is to create your own character with different moods. Choose a color to match the character's moods. So here I have included in this slide different drawing tutor tutorials from our well-known illustrators of children's books. So Mo Willems, T.P. Oswald, Oliver Jeffers. These are books that you may be familiar with with characters of different expressions. And I love this one where all the crayons here, this one's Oliver Jeffers. Um, he um, draws the different crayons in different colors and then they all have different expressions. So if you click on those, those are also YouTube um, sites that you would, could see those drawing exercises. And here is a little example of different characters, of different expressions for you to, to look as a model. So I look forward to seeing all of your little characters of different moods. Um, please share them with me on the Google Classroom. You could share them to my email at ltmccree at cps.edu. Well, I hope you're having a wonderful day or evening, and I hope you're feeling happy and healthy with your family. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.